be brave. You are unique. You're incredibly unique. There's only one of you in the world. So be brave. Embrace that there's a world of possibilities out there and allow yourself to find them. It's life hacks, life hacks, Ralph K's life hacks, life hacks, life hacks, Ralph K's life hacks. Welcome to life hacks. Here's how it goes. We are all unique and we know that. And you, I hope that you embrace that and you love that about yourself, that you are a unique human being. There's nobody else like you out there, but also it means that there's no instructions. There's no instructions of how to make things happen and there's no instructions of what to do with all these uniqueness. So the answer is simple. The answer for today is be brave. Allow yourself to embrace the fact that you are unique, but it implies that you need to be brave, that you need to allow yourself to take actions. And I believe the most important action that we have to take is exploring why we are unique and how we can cash in. That's a, that's a hard word of saying that, but how we can take advantage of the fact that we are unique and that there's nobody else like us out there and that we function in a whole different way and that we have very different dreams than anybody else who's out there. So your dreams, your way of seeing the world and, and your passions and what you try to achieve in the world, there's only one like you, right? It also means that all these dreams and possibilities are real and it's achievable, it's possible for you to follow through and to do outstanding and to do extraordinary things, but it acquires and requires one simple act. It requires for you to be brave, to embrace the fact that you need to fight the fear of taking actions. You need to fight against everything that goes against you believing that it's possible, that you, when you think that you're hitting a wall, understanding that there might be something and there probably is and there most likely is something on the other side of that wall. Embracing the fact that in your unique gifts, in your unique talents lies the possibility of achieving the dreams that are within that same system that we call body. So within the brain who's dreaming it, there's also the brain somewhere in your body that has the possibility of achieving those dreams because otherwise it would just be a cruel world, which it's not. Because look around and look at all these people who are achieving their dreams and who are going out there and who are going after what they believe is possible. We have Bill Gates, we have Steve Jobs, we have Colonel Sanders who came up with different kind of chicken. And he said, I believe I can do it. I'm going to try out 100 different recipes until I find the one that I truly believe in, the one that I think is great. So on this journey that we're on, the big challenge we're facing is embracing our uniqueness and embracing that it requires us to be brave, that we are different, that we are doing different things and that we have to do different things. And it all starts with investing in yourself, investing in you, making yourself important. You are important in this journey. You are the one who's traveling for Christ's sake. You are, you're traveling this journey. So if you're not important and if you don't care and don't take care of yourself, how can you achieve passing the great ocean, right? So think about an image of one of the old knights in Europe or uh, Monty Python's knights traveling the prairie and going out to find the Holy Grail and fight the Holy Grail. That's what you are doing today. You're going after your personal Holy Grail. You're going after trying to, to achieve the impossible for you at this moment, vision and realization of your life. Unless you're brave, unless you start the journey, you won't get to your destination, which is also pretty obvious. But it's hard sometimes. It's hard to be brave when people say, I can't do that, it's not possible. Or people naysay or say in our lives, you won't be able to do that. You know, I come from a family that, that wasn't always believing in things are possible to make movies and to do things. They're like, that's Ralph, you're crazy. Why would you do that? But there's this inner voice. And then there's this, this realization of, People are doing it all around me. There's a lot of people around me who are doing it. So why not me? So why not you? Why not just embrace the fact that you are unique, you have unique gifts, and you all you have to do is take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, invest in yourself, and learn. You know, write that book of instructions that they didn't give you at birth, because it would be seven billion different books, right? And because we're all unique, we all need to write and find out what are the instructions for how I function? And not just how do I function so I can be more happy. You know, that, that's a wonderful side result of learning how you function. It's not about just getting results so I know how to be, you know, excited about life and feel passionate. 
Because again, if you don't follow your passions, and if you don't follow that dream that's planted in your heart that you have, that vision that you have, your life is going to be sour. Your life is going to be something that you don't want to do. You know, you, those are the people that, that wake up in the morning and feel like, oh my God, it's Monday. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do things that I have to do. Well, because they're not realizing their passion. They're not doing their passion in your life. And they're not doing what they're, in their hearts of hearts, know it's possible to do because fear and false information is holding them back. So invest in yourself, invest in opening the box of belief systems that are installed there by your, you know, your family, the one you grew up with and by your school, which is just luck basically that the surrounding that you had and, and what teacher gave you what feedback and what answer, which is all very random, you know, and has most of the time nothing to do with you. You know, we are born into families and we just learn about how to relate and what to do and what's possible based on what we see our parents do, what we see friends of our parents do, what we see on TV all around us. So the invitation is to embrace your unique. You need unique things. You need to do things differently than anybody else. And today is the day of starting to doing that. Embracing that this journey is extremely exciting, but you are the traveler. You are on this journey. So you are allowed to try out things, to make mistakes, to go the wrong way and then come back. There is no judgment of this is the wrong right or the right way or whatever happens. It is your journey. And in these journeys, they're going to be, they have to be, and you want there to be missteps. You're going to try out things and not be worried about making this the perfect journey. Your only interest is getting there. Getting there means just one thing is realizing your passion, making your dreams a reality. So what I want to do, you know, after traveling this journey for the last 20 years, 25 years of trying to find out and trying all kinds of different things, I want to share with you some of the insights that I've found and of what I believe helps me, my book of instructions of how I function, of becoming more creative. Because simply speaking, spoken, if I'm more creative, if you're more creative, if you have more energy, you're going to do more things. Think of creativity as a big lake. And in the lake, there is plenty of fish. Let's call them the ideas, right? The ideas of moving forward, of trying out new things and being successful. And every day you go there and you fish. You take out the fish and you try out, you pull them out and you see what to do with them. Well, at some point, the lake is going to be empty. The ecosystem is going to be depleted and you have to refill them. So the faster you can refill your own ecosystem, the faster you can go back on track and move forward in this journey. So there's going to be days in the journey when you're resting, when your system is recovering, when you're processing information, when you're dealing with all the things you've learned and your brain is trying to, to understand what does that mean? How does that fit in? Right? So introspection, a sense of, okay, this is what's possible right now. That's what I can see, how far I can see. It's very important. Uh, but then there's going to be days of actions, a days of, oh, I have this new idea. Boom, I'm going to move forward. Boom, I'm going to try these things out. Wow, I'm going to use social media. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So here are three ideas I want to share with you of making your creative well stronger. I want to invite you to take a day off social media once a week. Social media is entertainment. Social media is just entertainment. Social media is made to entertain you. It's like watching three hours of TV every day. It's the exact same thing. You're watching entertainment. You're spending time watching people's stories, seeing what your friends are doing. You're being entertained. It is not productive in the sense of you're learning new things, a new craft or something. It is there to, you know, to have fun. It's entertainment. So imagine if, if somebody spends three, four hours a day watching TV, watching ads on TV or watching some reruns of old shows of, of Seinfeld and Friends. I mean, obviously, you know that that's not going to really help him move forward in his work, in his career. So why not take one day at least off social media? Check out your phone and have a look at how much time you were spending. You know, what's the screen time you're spending today? And then sum it up for the week and just say, well, what's going to happen if one day a week, maybe Saturday or Sunday, you just no Instagram, no social media. You unplug yourself from that entertainment world and you give yourself space for introspection, space for exploring things for doing. Just try it out. 
I feel a wonderful sense of feeling refreshed when I go back to my social media, my Instagram and all of these things after my day off. So try it out, take a day off Instagram. I wanna invite you to take a fuel action. A fuel action is something that you spend $5 on. You take $5, you spend $10 and you do something that is a sensorial experience. You go to a store, you go to a Indian store, you go to a thrift store, you go to a Latino store, you go to a store that usually you just don't go there to buy things, a $5 store and you walk around and you buy yourself something useless, colorful and fun. You try out maybe a new juice, maybe a new Indian juice, maybe you try out some new food they're selling there. Maybe you go to a Chinese store and you get some Chinese noodles. You buy some small Chinese toy, you do something that has absolutely no importance to your life, but is playful. So look at your budget, think about how much money you want to spend a week, $2, $3, $5, and just go with a mission of, I need to spend $2, $5 on something that's gonna fill my sensorial senses with something interesting, with something new. And the last thing I wanna throw at you is, every day, try to find your nature moment. Because after all, nature is still the biggest, you know, the biggest creation and the biggest center for creation. And just answering at night that question, did you have a nature moment today? Did you see something in nature? You don't have to value it. You don't have to make it a moment where you feel, oh my God, I just felt a realization of how beautiful nature is. No, I need you to just do one thing. On your way to work, wherever you're, when you're outside, try to do a nature moment and say, well, I, okay, I, I, I recognize that. I looked at that, I saw that. A moment of nature, a moment of beautiful flower, beautiful tree, beautiful sky, just a small connection of inspiration with nature, which is gonna have your eyes filled with something that's beautiful, that's pure, that's creative, that's unique. And over time, these three little routines are gonna help you to fill the well and make you stronger as a creative traveler, as somebody who is on this journey of making your dreams a reality, of following your passion and creating something that's gonna be outstanding and interesting for a lot of people because you're gonna do something that's gonna be interesting to watch, interesting to taste, interesting to see, wherever your passion takes you. So it's exciting, it's exciting to look at life and be brave. It's exciting to look at life and allow yourself to feel heroic, feel like you're special, feel like you are on a journey that's gonna bring you an incredible amount of joy and incredible amount of achievements and incredible amount of stories to tell. That's why we're on this stories. That's why we're on this journey, sorry. That's why we're on this journey. We're on this journey so we fill our lives with stories of passion and excitement. See you soon.